Hey folks, Tech Never is here. Today we're going to be talking about my Tronxy and the things that I was having happen. It wasn't good. The initial firmware that came installed on the printer was pretty much garbage, I'm not going to lie. So uh, the bed kept ramming into the head and even though the detector was going off and the light was working, nothing seemed to stop it from continuing to raise these. It's the axes on the Z are independent. There are two motors and two plugs, and for some reason, this side would stop and this side would keep going. Everything would end up all skewed, and it just would not work out no matter what I did. So, instead of taking this printer and throwing it in the junk pile, which I originally thought was probably a good idea, I decided to take a step back and examine the possible problems. One, the end stop for the Z-axis on this printer is the mounted bed leveling sensor. That detects metal, so I can't replace it with a glass bed, and it wasn't working properly. So it left me with a few options, one of them being changing to Marlin for my firmware. So that's what I did, and as you can see, it runs splendidly. I'm actually getting really, really good results. Since I've upgraded to Marlin, I've also had to make some upgrades to the bed because the bed was pretty marred, and as you can see, this one's pretty chewed up as well. However, I do have some other alternatives now that I have a proper working system and the firmware is calibrated to the right Z offset, I am pretty much good to go. So I'm gonna show you in this video how to update your Z offset with Marlin to make sure that you are far enough away from the bed to not smash that print into the bed and actually co-join them into one piece so you can actually remove it from the bed afterwards and not damage your build plate. So, without any further ado, let's jump down to the control panel here and I will show you exactly the buttons you need to press. Now, please keep in mind, as I said, I have recently upgraded this printer to Marlin, so this name may, may not be the exact setup you see when turning on your uh, Tronxy X5 SA. And as it shouldn't, because this isn't stock firmware, we're running something a little bit different here. So today, we're gonna go ahead and click on the settings panel, and we're gonna go ahead and go into motion. And the first thing we're gonna do is click on auto home. So it's gonna auto home the bed for us, and then we are going to adjust the Z offset. So the way that this works is it's going to place the bed as close as it thinks it needs to be due to the sensor that it's using. This software actually does work and keeps the bed from running into the head. So it's actually quite beneficial. I definitely recommend checking out that video on how to switch firmware. And let's jump up to the top view so you can see exactly what's going on with the print head here. As you can see, the sensor is lit up. It is detecting the metal build plate down below and it has moved to about a centimeter, or excuse me, a millimeter away from the bed as per the settings in the printer. So what we need to do is adjust for that difference. And the way that we do that is go to the Z offset settings in the printer here. So now that I'm out of the auto home, I'm gonna go ahead and back out. I'm gonna go down to configuration here and I'm gonna click probe Z offset. Now mine's already set, so I'm not gonna adjust it. I had to find point, negative point 0.8 was the perfect offset to print at. But basically what you're gonna do is adjust this number using the negative and the positive function buttons here on the touch screen. And that's gonna raise the bed or lower the bed accordingly. And you wanna get it just barely below that nozzle so they're not touching, but really, really close. And that's basically the idea. And then you're gonna go ahead and hit the check mark because that means that your Z offset is where you want it. Mine is 0.8. And then just to be safe, you're gonna go down here and hit the over arrow and hit store settings and then hit hit it again there you go you get that beep saying it worked and then you back out and your z offset is set and you're ready to go so now with marlin installed my z offset set i have no further problems printing and it works like a charm every time i have marlin set to go through and level the bed and detect where the bed is, how far it is away from the print head at all times. That way it calculates the best possible trajectory for printing that first layer and getting everything actually to adhere. So after this step, if you're following from the beginning, I did have the final problem I had before I corrected switching this Tronxy over to Marlin, and that was needing to adjust my E-steps. So 
you need to adjust your e-step, stay tuned. I'll have another video on that coming up shortly. But for now, that should conclude this video, and I will see you in the next one. Tech never is out, guys.